guys thanks so much for watching and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are doing a grocery shop with me haul um how i prep things out in the refrigerator so that they are ready to go and i can grab them and when we're likely to eat things if they're prepped out i feel like we all are because sometimes you're just in a rush you don't have time to like wash the lettuce every time you want to use it and things like that so that's why i do several things ahead of time and i get them ready for the whole week and what else am i going to do i'm going to show you kind of like what i eat on a typical day like a typical weekday so i hope you enjoy this if you do give it a like and if you are new to my channel welcome and please consider subscribing if you enjoy this video i would love to have you there's so many new people and i'm so just excited to have you guys if you do write a comment below in the comment section i will get back to you and also hit that bell so you never miss an upload because i don't always post at the same time so i don't want you to miss out if you have missed out on recent videos they will be down below and let's get started the first thing is my grocery list I know there's a lot of apps for this and I have had a few in the past but I don't like to keep pulling out my phone at the grocery store and have to like unlock it a million times so I like to do it the old-fashioned way and just have a piece of paper and the first thing I do is write down everything off the top of my head that I know we need I also will ask Chad what he wants from the grocery store so this one is just like a mess it's everything it's not separated and then on another piece of paper I like to write it down in sections so fruit is the first thing and then the vegetables the deli the meat freezer the middle section and then the refrigerated section so this is set up in terms of the first thing that i will walk into at the grocery store and then what's at the very back of the store and it just works out for me this way because whenever i just have a random list sort of like this like a rough draft I have everything all over the place and then I forget something and I have to walk around the store again and if I section it out in terms of sections at the grocery store I hopefully won't forget anything that is always the goal and I can just go front to back and then walk out of there and be done with it and here is what our refrigerator looks like right now it is so empty we have a lot of condiments of course because who doesn't have a lot of condiments so that is one side this is the other side and then we have some eggs we don't have a lot of eggs we just have the zucchini and squash we have some bacon some cheese not a lot of cheese and yeah that is literally all we have <laughs> so we are out of food for sure i'm at the grocery store now i'm about to go in and i brought headphones today i'm gonna listen to a podcast while i'm in there i never do this but i figured i would today and i'm sure almost everyone is well aware of this but just in case you're not podcasts are completely free and they're podcasts about like absolutely anything really so i'm sure there's one for you if you just like search in the app I'm going to show you guys everything I just bought at the grocery store. Of course, a couple things were here, especially in like the condiment section. We always have so many condiments, um, but if it's new, I'm going to pull it out and show it to you. Uh, so the first thing is a ranch, and we always buy one of the refrigerated things for salad dressings. Like almost always, I just feel like they're so much better. I know they can be a little more expensive, but... I'm a condiments person i love them so the marzetti brand is really really good we also have that caesar dressing um i feel like there's another salad dressing i bought this one's a gerard's i think that's how you say it it's a greek feta salad dressing and i just want a greek salad so bad it just sounds so good so that's what i'm gonna make today i'm starting in the deli drawer because we're definitely a deli family we love our meats and cheeses 
and like charcuterie and all that stuff we snack on it so often so the first is a chicken breast this is a nashville hot chicken breast um it's not spicy i thought it would be so i was kind of bummed about that but still really good and then i also bought a colby jack like sliced up um i always buy one pound of the meats and for cheese i assumed it was like around the same amount one pound of cheese is a ton of cheese and now i know i really am not the one that shops that often so we have a ton of colby jack cheese i love that cheese i know like for chad he really likes havarti so i did get him um just like slices of havarti and then i just have a black forest ham it's just like a regular lunch meat and back here is chicken sausage this one is a maple and apple flavor we love these like prepared um is that even the word i'm thinking of or just like these sausages you know like there's so many flavors and different kinds we have these for breakfast with eggs we also will put these like in rice with a bunch of peppers um in soups things like this are just really really versatile and three more cheeses i wasn't kidding when i said we are a meat and cheese family and my husband he does the keto diet a lot so he eats like so much of this kind of stuff but i have shaved parmesan for caesar salads and also like spaghetti and things like that and then i have a goat cheese for like a goat cheese and apple and arugula salad um and then feta cheese for a greek salad i'm gonna make today so Lots of cheese. I'm pulling out the meat drawer. So I know a lot of people do like fruits and vegetables. We almost always have a meat drawer and this is actually like a chicken breast right here that's raw that we have to make tonight. So that should be in this drawer, but it's not. And the first thing in here is just a pound of ground beef and then a pound of, what's this one? This is a ground chicken uh, breast. So yeah, we always use the chicken breast for like chicken tacos or yeah pretty much always that's what we make with that and then the ground beef is typically for like quesadillas or spaghetti or actually i think we're going to make a meatloaf i know so exciting with the ground beef and a ground where is it i think it's just like a regular pork sausage so just like a pound of this and a pound of this for a meatloaf i don't know what else we're putting in that oh i think i bought parsley for that actually and then we have um hardwood smoked bacon i'm gonna make this actually and we love prepping our bacon ahead of time because i will crumble it on salads of course for breakfast in the morning on sandwiches um there's just so many ways to eat bacon if it's ready and prepared for you so i love prepping it that's ahead of time and just like putting it on almost anything okay and then this is fruits and veggies and i'm going to show you guys how i prep out a lot of things in this video so uh, that they will last longer and also i can just like pull them out and eat them or throw them in something and i don't have to like wash and prep things every time it saves you a ton of time and also i feel like i throw away like way less stuff because Sometimes if you're in a rush or if you are really tired, then you don't have the energy to like wash something, wash something, I feel like I said that weird, and it just is like spoiled and you end up throwing it away. I always, I do everything I can so I don't throw food away. I always feel super guilty about that. There's obviously a lot of hungry people in the world, so if I throw something away, I just feel very guilty. I always try and avoid that. First is a cucumber for the Greek salad I'm making. And next is parsley, I'm gonna prep that. This one is cilantro. We always have cilantro. I will throw cilantro on almost anything. Like, I love it that much. And then we have shaved carrots. And we almost will always buy, like, whole fruits and vegetables. We rarely buy anything that's already prepped at the grocery store. But I couldn't resist shaved carrots. It's just, like, so easy. And prepping those out is super time consuming. I have three apples for, like, an apple feta salad. Honey crisp apples. Um, I have scallions. I don't know what I'm going to throw scallions on, but they're just like so easy to throw on anything for dinner or salads. Jalapeno, probably for guacamole. Um, I do have squash and zucchini in here. And raspberries. I honestly think raspberries taste like Sour Patch Kids. I love raspberries, just like snacking on them alone. And the middle shelf is eggs. So I just bought a dozen eggs that I like to have like scrambled eggs in the morning. But I also really like to do hard boiled eggs and prep those ahead of time and put those on salads or sometimes I just like snack on those. And if you like deviled eggs, sometimes I just cut them in half, put a little mustard on them and bacon, and it's like a super fast version. So, life hack, this is um, just celery, probably for some sort of like a green juice. We have a juicer and I really like celery juice. It's actually really refreshing. I know it probably sounds like it's not that good, but it is. This is um, some baby arugula, it's organic, and it is washed already, so I'm not gonna worry about prepping that out. 
And this is just romaine and I'm gonna wash this prep it, show you how I do that. I almost always will buy salads like pre-washed if I can, it's just so much easier. But they didn't have it, so I'm gonna show you how I prep that. And if you are not a salad person but you want to be, start with romaine because it doesn't taste like anything. It's like super mild, so yeah. If you're not a salad person, this is a really good way to start. The next two things are yogurt. This one's for me, it's the triple zero. Um, from Dan and the flavor is vanilla and if you're not a yogurt person either but you want to be this one's so good It's a little bit sweet, but it's not tart at all I feel like that's why a lot of people stay away from yogurt and So yeah, if you're not a yogurt person. This is a good way to get into it. This one's for Chad He does keto so it's 5% fat. It's the Faye the total kind and so yeah This is like full fat in this one. I don't know what the macros, this has 22 grams of protein. I, I don't know what diet this is good for, but like people on certain diets really like this. And for iced coffee, I've been drinking this one. It's the Starbucks brand. This is the medium roast. It's unsweetened. I typically would get sweetened, but for Chad, he doesn't want sweetened. So I got that one. And then I just add this coffee creamer to it. And this is how, it's pretty much like what I do for all coffees that I make at home. So I add a little bit of an almond coffee creamer. Um, sometimes I do a caramel flavor. This one is sweet and creamy. And then I just add an unsweetened almond milk. And we, I don't know how we go through this so fast. I add it in coffee. I have it in cereal, but I don't have cereal that often. So yeah, I don't know. I just feel like we go through almond milk really, really quickly. And sour cream, this one is Horizon Organic. We eat sour cream on a bunch of different things. I also bought the ranch packets. It's like a dry seasoning packet for dips. So sometimes we just put that in sour cream and eat like raw veggies or whatever. Even salads, having like the fresh, it's not fresh because it's not like fresh herbs or anything, but just like freshly made, um, like regular ranch dressing with sour cream is super, super good, especially on salads and veggies and almost anything that you eat just like a ranch dressing on. And these are the tortillas that Chad likes. So this is a carb balanced tortilla. Um, it's flour and it has six carbs. So these are the ones that I like because I'm gluten free. So this is just a corn tortilla. The brand is La Benderita. I'm not saying that right, of course, I know, but I'm sure you guys know kind of like what I'm talking about. And I just really, really like these for shrimp tacos or for chicken or beef, whatever tacos. Those are super good. Those should go somewhere else if I do an organization video. I'll figure that out. And in the freezer, I have strawberry halo top. I know strawberry ice cream. Is it filming? Oh my gosh, I thought it wasn't filming. <laughs> I know strawberry halo top or strawberry flavor isn't like most exciting flavor, but for some reason, strawberry halo top just tastes so good. So I love that. And then I also have sweet potato puffs from the Alexia brand. I really like that brand. I love like pretty much anything that has potato in it, french fries, mashed potatoes, baked potato, like anything potato I love. So I always have to have something and things like that are just so easy to make at home. And then we have Patagonian red shrimp. These are peeled and shrimp for shrimp tacos, shrimp for shrimp fried rice. I love shrimp, shrimp cocktails, any shrimp, anything I really like. This is a new thing, I've never had this. It's a Mexican style street corn from the Alexia brand. I know the lighting is kind of off right now because it's like the end of the day, but that looks so delicious. I cannot wait to try that. It's the same brand as the sweet potato puffs. And then I have a pizza, just like a pepperoni pizza. This one, of course, is a gluten-free pizza. I never stick with a specific brand. I always just buy whatever is like on sale or the cheapest because frozen pizzas are so expensive. I think this was probably like $7 on sale. So that's kind of a lot for like a sale frozen pizza, at least I think so. And here's more fresh stuff I bought that doesn't have to be in the refrigerator. The first are these tomatoes. I always buy a cherry tomato because I can cut them up and put them in anything or I can eat them whole. And some bananas. And then four avocados. They're not ripe yet, so hopefully tomorrow we can start eating those. I'm obsessed with avocado. And then I just have an onion. Uh, I thought I bought a red onion. I didn't see it in the fridge in this haul, so hopefully it's in there somewhere. Um, a mango and then and this is an Asian pear. I think it's also called an apple pear I hope they're the same thing, but these are so delicious I either will just have this on its own or also in a salad. Here's all the last stuff So the first thing are these crackers these taste exactly like a Ritz cracker like exactly so super good I recommend those and I just have those with like slices of cheese or a dip I don't have any dips right now, but sometimes I eat them alone. I just love these 
This is a tikka masala simmering sauce. I've never had this before, but it looked really, really good. It was on sale and I'm excited to have that like with some rice and chicken or something like that. I just have a no sugar added Heinz ketchup for Chad. He requested the no sugar added. And this is a gluten-free bread by the Udi's brand. This is the soft white sandwich bread. It is so good, you guys. I always will keep this in the freezer and then I just pop it in the toaster when I want to make something with it. I don't know why it was in the pantry. I'm gonna stick that back in the freezer. And these are bean chips in the pico de gallo flavor. I love a bean chip, I always have. And I like to crumble these up on salads. I like to eat them alone. I like to eat them with dips. Just really good and really versatile. It's day three of filming this video. I'm putting so much stuff in it, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, please hit the like button. But basically today I'm gonna show you what's prepped out in the fridge and then show you like what I'm eating for a lot of today. So I'm really working on portion control. That's something that I know I have to work on because sometimes I eat a little too much, sometimes I eat like way too much. I eat fast, honestly, so I need to like slow it down. But anyways, I had a piece of toast with a fried egg and bacon and cheese. And since I had all that stuff, I was like, I really feel like I only need one piece of bread and that was plenty. I'm not even hungry yet for lunch. So I just feel like small changes really do add up over time and hopefully I can just like stick with that to have like an open face sandwich a lot more than like a regular sandwich and save all those calories and all that stuff. And I was actually planning on prepping a lot of stuff with you guys today, but I asked Chad last night if he would make celery juice for me and he just like started to make everything. So we are not that organized by any means if you would like to see an organization video let me know and I will reorganize this with you guys and I'll put some like really good ideas that you can use in your everyday life in that video but up here is the bacon so this is what I used this morning for breakfast and he just made like the whole thing of bacon and put it in there there is a little bit of paper towel on the bottom too for the grease so that way it's not like a total mess in there and right here is the chicken breast. So this I will eat throughout the entire week. I will eat this on salads and quesadillas. Ooh, it's kind of like watery. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like thin sliced. That's what I always like. Here's the romaine. And with this one, there also is paper towel. So he washed this for me last night. I actually was working on the first part of this video. So I didn't even know he was doing all this stuff. Um, and so yeah, it's freshly washed and chopped up and then this paper towel has a little bit of water on it And that is just hydrating it So it's going to last like a few more days than if it was just sitting in there without that and throughout the whole day I will sip on iced coffee or hot coffee and water and I don't know if I'm just like so ready for spring I mean, I obviously am I'm just so ready for the warm weather So that's probably one of the reasons I've just been like stuck on iced coffee I can like feel it coming, but yeah, I sip on those all day I'm gonna show you guys how I make a Greek salad at home it does not have olives in it and I know that's like the whole point but I'm not a picky eater at all I will eat almost anything and one of the very few things I cannot stand is olives So if you like olives and add that to it Here's everything I'm adding in I always like to mix it in a bowl and then put it in like an actual bowl I just think salad tastes so much better when it's properly dressed Everything is even and like the salad dressing isn't poured on top, you know So the chicken that I already showed you and you guys will see that in just a second the romaine, feta cheese, the Greek salad dressing. These are banana pe or pepperoncinis. I think that's the same thing as a banana pepper. Um, and cherry tomatoes. And then instead of a crouton, I just do these pico de gallo or whatever flavor of a bean chip and crumble that up and put it on top. today's video as always thank you so much for spending the time with me i hope that i gave you some ideas you can actually use in your everyday life and i just think it's so important i just think it's so important to find healthy foods you actually enjoy and then just learn how to mix them up that's what we do so yeah write a comment below i will get back to you hit the bell and subscribe if you haven't yet and i will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video bye